Away we go with the gold medal match from the FIVB World Grand Prix Finals. Brazil in yellow serving, and it's the USA in the red and blue receiving. And the first point goes the way of Brazil. Fegere on that little tip on the backcourt pipe, managing to come up with a point. They have their first side out. High and wide to Sheila. Good dig by Bamworth the Libero. Slightly wild one from Hill. That will do nicely, though. <laughs> so both teams siding out with ease at the moment. Ball slowed down. That's a lovely swing from Fagare to the line. Not sure Hill really wanted to play it. Free ball coming for Brazil. Fabiana plays it. She's going to be a little bit late. Fagare is denied through four, good blocking from the USA. The USA's blocking and defence has been an area that they've improved on dramatically. In a relatively short space of time, you will see them during the course of this one. Hands going straight across the net, the minute they're above the net, they're going across in one motion. And it is making them a very difficult team to break down at times. And now they've edged in front. Ball for the US played in by Hill. Well, so not having much luck at the moment through four. Fagare is though. Glass went too close to the line and Adams couldn't catch up. Sheila with the serve. Good leave. Oh, not a belter from Fagare. That's a brilliant swing. Oh, 
Lovely hang time from Adams. Opened herself up to the ball coming in and then was able to turn and swing away. And Natalia also showing how to hit the line. Just about stayed in a miss hit from Kimberly Hill. She doesn't care. USA have the lead at the first technical timeout. Good serve. Well, as, for as good as Faye Gray has been offensively, not matching up with her passing at the moment. Adams goes again for the USA. More trouble for Faye Gray. More trouble for Brazil. Called by Guimaraes. Well, it was Hill touched the net that she played the ball. Well spotted by Prodadida, second referee. <laughs> Murphy gets in on the action. error from Sheila and there are quite a lot of unforced errors at the moment for Brazil hence this lead by the USA oh, no. touch given well, I think there'll be a challenge for that then Brazil was setting up to receive so now we have a challenge
Wow. Not even close. Just as well as a challenge system, isn't there, really? For those of us and those of you who played and there was no ability to challenge and you think back to all those times where you know there was an injustice and now at least that is partially resolved whereby so long as you haven't wasted your challenge you still have an opportunity to uh, get the right outcome a lovely reverse set from Danny Linz for Brazil to have their side out Natalia with the serve Joaquin Radewo with just a delicate touch over the net this time. Hill. Really good serving. The USA have done their homework, haven't they? But who to serve at? Whereabouts to serve on court? Kelsey Robinson's come in for Hill to pass and defend. Tyser with the serve. Oh, she's normally really good. Too many errors at the moment for Brazil. And it's allowing the USA to get further away from them in this set. better Fabiana through the middle Sheila just watch Sheila's feet when she serves she flirts with the baseline she's had two foot faults in this tournament so far she was really close that time USA side out and they lead at the second technical timeout by five. Good up from Glass. That was a really good get. But it's Brazil who take the point. Chase from Figaro. Gabby. Draws the net touch from the USA. Brazil are closing the gap.
Brazil are keen to keep running the middle. And why not? It's working. Oh, that's an absolute stonker from Rachel Adams. Brilliant swing. Larson. Brazil on a double touch, they're not going to get it. They won't complain if they win the point, they will if they don't. And now the complaints come. Block out for the USA, maybe a little bit of luck as well. Quicker ball out wide, Hill did well to deal with it. He was right into the blocking zone of Brazil. And she got the hit away before Fabiana could close the block. And Brazil called the timeout. The USA have stretched away again. And again. Wow, why would you want to try and, well, because you can, I suppose, but Roberta trying to set that ball. And it's a negative set to try and get that into Fabiana, and she's miles away from her and moving away from the ball. Interesting decision making from Brazil. Nicely played from Gabby, who's keeping her place on court ahead of Sheila at the moment. The double substitution may be coming to an end shortly, though. Once Brazil send Gabby round to serve, Fabiana with the ball. Thaisa and Natalia camping out to deny the USA. Little change up, Gabby is going out to four, went out to four to block and Natalia went to two. Normally Gabby would go to two, she's the uh, opposite player. But they are switching things around a little bit. Brazil trying to make it interesting. Although that serve doesn't help their cause. Adams now goes back and tries to put more pressure on Guimaraes' team. <laughs> Fabulous swing from Murphy right onto that line. It was thumped. Well, they're going to call a challenge, but do you know what? It may look like it was out or, or why the side, but you hit it so hard. That impact into the floor, which is what you're allowed to take, not the first touch, but the impact before it leaves the floor. That ball is going to spread out like a beach balloon. And that's Kars going, how could it be anything but in? How could it be indeed? <laughs> nice 
nice swing from Natalia. It's interesting, isn't it, when you see the animation for the ball in out. Doesn't matter how hard the ball has been hit, whether it's been tipped or whether it's been absolutely snotted, that impact mark is always the same size. Brazil not recognising Danny Linz was in the back row, putting a ball too tight to the net, she couldn't get in and, and make a decent set on. Then she's having to defend that one. Fagare now, though, on the pike, but she's no good. But it's been given as a touch off the block, and the USA aren't complaining. Just caught Kelly Murphy. Well left by Larson. Lovely angle from Akin Radewo going back cross court and opening up set point now for the USA. Middle block couldn't get out there, she had all the room to her left to hit the ball into. Murphy with the serve. Overpassed and dispatched by Akin Radewo. That's the way to finish a set. USA take it 25-18. Errors wise, that was a difference, wasn't it? It was mentioned. The USA giving being given nine points by Brazil. Overall six points. Which just about sums up the difference. Teams, USA winning that one by seven. Brazil have been given a wake-up call by a very disciplined, very talented USA team. Dietzen with her tracksuit top on, not being used as yet. Robinson's had a little run out. Thais has been non-existent in the match so far. Natalia's had little to do. Fabiana has had a few swings through the middle.
Sheila gets her place back on court. As you'd expect, no changes for the USA. comes in Leah comes in for Brazil <laughs> Kelly Murphy with the serve for the USA to get set two underway <laughs> and Thaisa making an impact straight away underused in the first set straight in to the action in the second. Slight miss hit from Italia, snatching at that one somewhat, wasn't she? It was a, wasn't a clean, fluid swing. an excellent ball in from Banwar because it meant that Glass had time to come in and make the set after being involved in the block and then is able to release Akin Radewo. Wow, Fagare is going off and the huge roar for the iconic Jackie as she comes in. Gambling already, it's only 2 1. And Danny Linz doesn't have any trust in Jackie just yet, trying to force the middle in transition, and it wasn't available. Nekin Radowo was waiting for Fabiana. Now, does Hill try and put that ball on to Jackie? Make her play it. She's not touched a ball yet since the start of this match. After the warm up, but no, it's Natalia who gets it. Jackie has a swing and she gets her block out. So her confidence is now sky high, having not had to make a pass. For some reason, she has developed this, so I say developed, just that none of us have seen Brazil in action for a while, have we? Because they uh, didn't go to the World Cup because they didn't need to, as they qualified already for the Olympic Games. And so, Sheila's run up. There's a stutter, misstep, catastrophe at the moment. And she keeps missing her serve, she's had a couple of foot faults. And all the referee was unsure and decided to give the touch but has the benefit of the fact that the other team can call the challenge which is what uh, Guimaraes has done That is a touch. Well, she said no touch, but that's caught the finger of Danny Linz. We could see her finger next to her thumb wiggling around. Wow. Bizarre. Well, now there's a rotation error for the USA. Adams is said to be out of position, having gone too early. 
Matters not now, she got that ball down. Swing from Natalia. Brazil level things up. Sheila couldn't get to that one. Larson with the ball. Not quite the force she used to be, is Sheila. Covering by Jackie. <laughs> and it's Jackie who gets the job done on the backcourt pipe. serve that is from Danny Linz there were screams of in 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 but nobody was able to play it good covering by Kimberly Hill but Thaisa it is who puts the ball down <laughs> almost did the splits and then she lost her footing didn't expect she meant to disguise on that set from Alicia Glass looked like she was going to go middle just then sends it over the top to give Kimberly Hill a one-on-one -on -one. Adams with the serve So was going for height with her block, not reaching it far enough across the net to send that ball down. You can see her hands went up, and then she's trying to press as the ball's being hit. It's just too late. Well, it's a little bit low for Murphy, but she keeps it in play. Jackie. Just the continuation from her, but she shuts down Akinradawo. 
who went a little too early on the slide behind and had to use her hang time, but it didn't work. USA making the double change. Lloyd coming in for Murphy to set from the back row and Lowe coming in for Alicia Glass. Three front court attackers all over on the left-hand side. Lowe runs all the way around the back to get into position two. But the USA can't get the pass in. Ty so to serve once more. The self cover from Jackie, but she was surrounded by two middle blockers who spent their time watching and not acting. Again, Danny Lins using Fabiana through the middle on an A quick. That's a good angle from Jackie. Adams not closing down to her left. Such a big hitter, Castello. Substitution has been reversed for the USA. Fabiana to serve for Brazil. Oh, good cut from Larson. There's a career on the beach waiting for her, isn't there? won't be pleased that Danny Linz has been able to put that second ball over. Blockers and defenders' responsibilities are set as touch, quick attack, and then wide attack. Or even the second tempo, then the wide attack. Brazil come again. Oh, that's a great recovery from Glass Hill. Just keeps it in play. And Sheila finds the line. I think there's going to be a challenge, maybe. They're challenging the ball in out. So there is no technical timeout. Everyone has to go back on court. Subs have to go back to the bench.
Well, there could be a counter challenge then. So if the ball is given as out, they are going to counter challenge for a block touch. So it still may not end up being USA's point. Karch looks on impassively. Well, it's just caught the line. So there's no counter challenge to come. Brazil have the point and lead by three at the technical timeout. Danny Lynn serving for Brazil. Leading by three, but trailing by one set to love. Nice dig by Danny Lins. And Jackie gets the ball off the block and down. Brazil extending their lead. Good up. Leia with a great dig, and that one's off the block and out. Brazil are getting control of this second set. <laughs> Murphy finding a way through. Lovely, that was a double quick, but you know, Sheila's in the net, was the ball on the floor? Touch and go, wasn't it? It's just a shame that uh, Bamoth couldn't get perhaps a little bit more on the ball. Fabiana takes the point. USA call the timeout.
Hill copying Taisa. Roberta and Gabby coming in, Sheila. Danny Lynn's going out. Be Roberta back to serve. Jackie. Once they get the speed of that slide behind right, very difficult to stop Akin Radiwo. Very difficult to stop Rachel Adams. Akin Radiwo with the serve. Too many errors creeping into the USA game. Well saved by Gabby. Well, Adams had plenty of line to go after. She was facing the line. She's hit across the ball, though. Second timeout called by USA. Trouble for the USA. Set point now for Brazil. Foot faults from the USA, so that wraps up set number two. Brazil take it 25 17, and it's one set all here for the FIVB World Grand Prix Final. USA giving Brazil six errors in that set. And Brazil getting three aces. So lack of concentration from the USA. And a much better concentration from Brazil sees the set go their way.
Away we go with set three. Brazil with the serve. Natalia with the ball. Covering from Glass. Recovering from Danny Linz. Oh, nice block out. Murphy appeared to get a little ahead of the ball, but made a good adjustment. Both Akin Radowo and Adams are missing that sideline with regularity. That will be a cause for concern for coach Kajgarai. <laughs> oh, no, missing that one. This time opting to bang it into the heart of the court. Fabiana been sent completely the wrong way. Hill with the serve. Good up by Banwath. Fagere's back into the team. Jackie back to the bench for Brazil. No changes at all for the USA. Well, that was the wrong hand from Natalia. Great chase, but she's gone with her right hand and it's gone further away from her friends and from her teammates. She goes to the left, she might bring it back. solid hit through the middle and that's where Brazil are, are dominating at the moment aren't they they are putting the ball away with relative ease on the quick attacks USA struggling in comparison Fagere getting her serving instruction from Guimaraes Trying to go inside, opening up the line. Glass now to serve. The serving isn't tough enough from the USA to stop Brazil from putting in a, a ball that allows Danny Linz to set the middle and it's causing them problems.
Larson with the serve. Interesting that ball touched the net, the antenna, which is what the line judge was signaling for. It's what you could see Karch signaling for. Unfortunately, the ball went out of play anyway. Larson will get it, can it be brought back? No, it can't. Excellent rally. The crowd ooing and ahhing with every dig. And then roaring as Brazil win the point. Paul just can't seem to hit a winner at the moment. Neither can Murphy. Fagare can though. Super defending from Brazil. And now they move in front. Gamara's enjoyed it. Rescued by Banwath. Hammered by Sheila. 8-6, first technical timeout. Brazil in front. with the ball for Brazil it's going well for them at the moment after losing the first set they took the second they have the lead here in the third that one just too far away from Italia Radewo comes up on an A-quick this time. No one able to stop that. Murphy.
E quick out wide. Oh dear. That one caught the thermal. Double substitution coming for the USA. Not because Murphy missed the serve, well in part because she did, because the serving runs over. But a double substitution so that Lloyd goes into the back row. Lowe goes into the front row. Lowe's going to come all the way round the back of the passing unit to hit through two. Akin Radawo through the middle and then through the outside. There's uh, Hill, but Ag Lowe is stopped. But not the second time of asking. in as she has done throughout this match for Hill Sheila to serve <laughs> clever play from Larson again she's got all the shots and she knows when to use them going to go long but it's played by Robinson good dig from Akin Radawo but it's just too far away from Carly Lloyd and Brazil take the point Adams couldn't put it down through the middle, Fabiana could. Brazil lead by three. There'll be a timeout coming from the USA. to serve for Brazil and a decent lead and they hang on to it oh brilliant from Danny Linz no one thought he was going to go back to Fabiana
Second technical timeout, Brazil lead by four. And there's not looking like a way back into this set for the USA at the moment. change for the USA glass and Murphy back in <laughs> top block from Natalia Adams put too far outside the antenna. <laughs> Nobody covering deep enough for Brazil as that one's wrapped off the block by Larson. Hill coming in for Robinson. As they move to the front row. Larson goes back to serve. Danny Linz is finding her middles and they're putting the ball on the floor. Good up by Leia. I'm lucky for Hill. Yes, it is. Into the block and into the post. That's a great swing from Thaisa. Sort of thing that the Brazilian middle blockers and the men's team do right into those corners, five and one. No one's defending there when you hit quick. Oh, that swing from Murphy, he's just gone up and hit one of the... Uh, challenge system cameras so that one's not going to be any use someone's going to need to run down there now from the challenge team and they are to go and get that one fixed just taking a good picture of the ceiling at the moment Thaisa again through the middle oh, Brazil looking good to take this set still Time out. Let's put the call from the announcer. Making Radewo delivering through two. Well, that 
looked like he hit the floor. Gamaris thinks so. But you can't challenge ball up, ball down. going on here the buzz has gone off again just as the USA was serving a few technical issues so double sub for Brazil Gabby comes in Roberta comes in Roberta to serve. Gabby's going to go and block through two. Because I think Fagre will come out to four this time. When Natalia was at the front row, she went to two. This time Gabby goes there. Doesn't matter though, because Roberta's missed her serve. Block from Glass and from Adams. Adams had gone on the slide behind, so he's now left at two, and Glass ended up blocking in the middle. Well, in fact, Glass was still at two, wasn't she? Just switched into the middle after the block to deny Gabby. And timeout called by Brazil. That's an important side out, isn't it, for Brazil? Keeps them in front. Very difficult to see the USA getting back. And Brazil only need three more points. They've got good side out room as well. In terms of having a couple to play with. That's a top dig from Leia. Unfortunately, Faye Gray has put that plum in the net. No challenge coming. Oh, I don't know, Adams may well have got a touch to that because she never made any attempt, did she, to go and uh, wave her hands around until the ball had gone down. And a gift for Brazil. First time into court for uh, Costa Mariana. Baker has been nominated as captain. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, it's not too bad considering the lead Brazil have, but you bring a player on to serve, they've got to get the ball in. Larson. It was a top ball in. But the set from Roberta to Tyson was a little too low. Looks like the substitutions are going to be reversed.
Just two front court hitters now for Brazil. Although Linz, Danny Linz is front court herself, so USA need to be aware of the second ball over. Natalia Thais available to hit Fagare on the pipe and maybe even Sheila on the 10. And it's Thais straight through the middle to bring up set point. Danny Linz to serve. Block out's good for Hill. Set point is saved. Best chance this one for Brazil, otherwise we go 24 all and it's the first to get too clear. Adams with the serve. Top ball in. Oh, Thaisa. Wasn't stretched enough. Set point saved again. And now it's anyone's. Well, there's a challenge for block touch. Oh, this could be interesting. <laughs> Roberto looks at Thais, he doesn't need to say, for goodness sake. Oh, it did! It did catch the block! And all is forgiven for Taisa because Brazil take the set, and that's what it means to Guimaraes as well. He called the challenge. They get the point, and Brazil lead 2-1. Well, such is the noise here, so... But Normally in that situation, the person that hit the ball would be able, if they couldn't see it, would have heard the touch, the nick as the ball goes past. Brazil then on the verge of taking the World Grand Prix title here in Thailand. The defending champions on the ropes, trailing by two sets to one. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? It's always nice to hear what the coaches have to say, but a cutaway mid-conversation is a little bit annoying say the least, especially those of you that are watching speaking English and those of you supporting the USA, but nice to hear exactly what Kamas Karai was talking about. Adams with the serve for the fourth set. Must win set for the USA. If they're going to hold on to their Grand Prix title. 
but it's Brazil who get off to the perfect start with the side out well she got away with the spike that went miles out for a set point didn't she doesn't get away with that serve though and net denying her it wasn't a great swing that one in the set certainly wasn't a great swing that put the ball into the net Sheila. Wow! What a leap that was from Akin Radewo. It looked like it was way too high for her, and then she just found an extra level to go to. Magnificent swing. Well, the one element of the USA game that's not been as good as it has been in this tournament is their blocking. And it's Brazil who take the point. Baker A will serve. <laughs> Nicely done. Clever play from Larson just rolling it off the block and long. Oh, that was brilliant. Larson somehow getting that one up and down, but it's Fabiana who puts it away. Fabiana with the serve. She always set bunches up her shirt like that. But every top she wears, that's the best top. I think it must become habit. Every time you see him, she's got one of those vest tops on it, will be bunched up as that one is hammered down from Adams. Just hit the wrong part of the arm for Hill, didn't it? <laughs> That's not caught anybody. Yes, it did. Caught the block. Oh, well, it's not going to be a challenge. Kimberly Hill putting her hands up and across but not watching what was happening. Oh, Natalia getting the block out. Well, that was an absolute thumper, wasn't it? Adams with a warm up hit through the middle. Glass liked it. Ties had jumped into the cross and Adams went, thank you, I'll have the I'll have the cross back the other side then.
another solid hit from Brazil technical timeout one point separating the teams Brazil have the lead they lead by two sets to one That's the points run. USA only managing side outs at the moment. Brazil with an important point off that last side out to give them the lead. High hard hit from Kimberly Hill. And Danny Lins could only protect by putting her hands up so it didn't hit her in the face. Faker A then couldn't get the next one. Murphy. Good up from Hill. No one available at four. Has to go onto the pipe because Murphy played it. She was the backcourt player. Oh dear. Well, that was Lins losing her footing on perhaps some perspiration. She's okay. She went to play that, the foot just went from under her, didn't it? Good up. And again, it's another ball into the face of Danny Linz. She can't deal with. Brazil call the timeout, then USA move into a two point lead. Oh, big roar as that one is put down, and rightly so. Really good swing from Fagare. Well, Fagare was out of position. Why was she stood watching that one? No one knows. She was lucky. And then the team become lucky as a result. Well, that ball should have been hammered away through two, shouldn't it? Faker A was there, nowhere to be seen. And in the end, though, it's put wide.
Ooh, well, that was a net touch, was it, against Brazil? So USA have the point. I was busy looking at the replay on the monitor and not looking at the second ref. Good up from Hill. Larson tried to get an angle, but the ball was getting lower and lower. And she ran out of angles to work with. Hill off, Robinson on. We've got an issue here, not quite sure what it is. I was watching the substitution. Morris not happy with something. We've got timeout and substitutions on there. Did the, the pad, the uh, tablet get pre pressed incorrectly, perhaps? Morris saying it's got a mind of its own. It's not me. Fake away with the serve. Oh, a nice pick up. Blair coming in. And then Natalia going over the top. Brazil just one behind. Well, Shayla was shouting something through the net before the serve was made, perhaps as to where the ball was going to go. And what was coming? Larson gets blocked. USA call the timeout. It's all square in this fourth set. Just amazing, isn't it? How high that ball is hit by Akin Radewo. And how she just keeps going up and up and up. Blocking was better from the USA, but that ball just hit hard enough to send it out over the opposite sideline from Natalia as Sheila was doing a tumble. Oh dear, rotation error. So Adams again, is it moving out of position? She has to be in position when the ball is contacted. Now, the question is, can the second referee see the serve and the contact and the players moving at the same time? 
Adams has to be where she is on the left-hand side of Larson and then can only move once the ball's been contacted. Oh, that's a belter. It looked like Danny Lins may have touched the net as she set that ball. Doesn't matter, that was a thumper from Thaisa. Brazil ahead, leading two sets to one. And causing issues by serving into the traffic where Adams was, but she's done well to get the block out of Natalia. And Brazil now only one in front. Finally balanced now. After this point, we're going to have the second technical timeout. Oh, what a dig! But it's a net touch by the USA. Adams has gone into the net. And Robinson's dig is in vain. We hit the second technical timeout. It is Brazil at a leading 2-1, 16-15. Danny Linz. The USA take the point. That was a wonderful dig from that A quick that Adams hit. But Brazil was scrambling from then on in. And the tip ball works. Lynn says, I'm sorry, I should have got that one as well. Nice play from Banois. It's a little tight to the net, but Hill has height. Fakere covering the line tip. But no one able then to cover behind Natalia. Big block from the USA. And they now move in front. Well, it's some amazing volleyball, isn't it? They're keeping one side or the other in the rally and then taking the point. It's the governor now, Larson with the serve. Hill into the front row. Murphy and Adams with her. Oh, what a dig by Banois. And by Leia. No middle coming, goes wide. Sheila into the corner brilliantly for Brazil. Well, she may be 33, but she plays like she's 23. <laughs> Natalia. <laughs> Going to stay in court. Net touch by Brazil. Super defence again on both sides. Well, it was uh, Sheila with that second movement touching the net.
Adams. Brilliant covering behind the block. And a super dig from Banworth. Murphy. Oh, this is just spine tingling volleyball. And Hills try to find the line, but without success. Brazil take the point. Well, this is nip and tuck, isn't it? Seesawing from one side to the other. Well left by Danny Linz. Relief for Brazil. The pressure's on the USA now as they call the timeout. We're going to cover some balls. They're going to dig some. We're going to cover. We're going to dig. It's going to be a great fight down the stretch here. They're going to be a real three. We can get a good serve over the three seed. But again, we've got to take it to them there. And then they're going to bring it on gap low red. We're going to need a straight read with some wings helps. And again, we've got to take this set. They're not going to give it to us. Okay? Hey, hey, let's go! Well, never a truer word said. Yes, you have to go and take the set. It isn't going to be given to you. And if you're watching at home and supporting the USA right now, you're going to be hoping that they do go on to take the set and set up what will be a thrilling decider. You need the side out first of all. Thaisa with the serve. And Hill gets a good angle away to level things up. USA need a point from the serving line to turn the momentum their way as well, which means then they can keep siding out to keep the lead. Murphy with the serve. And somehow Faye Gray finds a way through. The double sub for Brazil. Gabby and Roberta come in. Danny Linz and Sheila go off. Not a particularly big front row now for Brazil. Only Fabiana with the height. Gabby and Fagare. Not quite so tall. A mismatch in favour of the USA wide. Exploited. Good serve from Hill. And that's a really good play as well because Gabby's only just come on to court and she's being made to play the ball. She's the front court hitter. And she didn't like it, did she? Oh, it's an ace serve! A little bit of luck just when they needed it. How on earth did it get over the net? I think that expression tells you all you need to know, doesn't it? From Kimberly Hill. flirted with the net with her last serve timeout has been taken to try and fluster her but that hasn't worked it's a good serve well passed by Gabby but not such a good swing and now a chance here for the USA but Larson has to adjust brilliantly wasn't a brilliant set but it was great reactions and Larson with the tip over takes the USA a step closer to this set 
The double sub is reversed, so Danny and Sheila back in. Danny Lynn's into the front row. She's at four, two front court swing hitters. Fabiana and Fagare. And Sheila available on the 10. But it's Fabiana through the middle who gets past Akin Madewo to get the side out. It's still advantage USA because they can side out to take the set. Provided they make two side outs in succession, regardless of what happens then if they were to miss their serve. This is a must side out for them. Faker A with the serve for Brazil. Oh, that's just magnificent! It's almost as if Akin Radewo had to stop herself from getting too high to hit that ball. And set point comes up now for the USA. And they make their double substitution to bring Caster Lowe into the front row. And they put uh, Carly Lloyd in at six. Some real height at the net as well for the USA now. Akin Radewo with the serve. Oh, that was close. Karch had a good look at it down the sideline. But it doesn't find the bit of white paint it needed to be in. Jackie comes in, huge draw for her. Well, she's trying to get her team going. The USA have two chances to take the set. One side out needed. Jackie with the serve for Brazil. Good ball in from Larson. And Adams puts it down. We're heading into a decider. USA take the set 25 22. It's 2 all here in Thailand. Oh, what an amazing, amazing match we're witnessing. All the neutrals were hoping it would go to five. I'm sure those of you at home. Well, the statistics tell you quite a bit, but not everything you need to know. The USA were given five errors. They only made three. Much better performance from them in the set. And they had a couple of aces more, notably that one from Kimberly Hill. That sort of turned things in their favour, didn't it? So now it's all down to this, a race to 15 to see who'll take the set. And for those of you watching in the USA, you'll be willing your team on to defend their title. I know that... Uh, the FIVB USA referee Patty Rolfe is watching on intently and no doubt biting her fingernails hoping that her girls can defend the championship, can keep hold of the gold medal and go into the Olympics as the current world champions and current world Grand Prix champions. Well they're 15 points away from doing that. It's been a real battle. Sometimes not the best volleyball, but I tell you what, we've seen some amazing pickups, haven't we? We've seen some great blocking. And we've seen some real heroics on both sides of the net. And the fans are enjoying every second of it.
So it's all come down to this. 15 points to see who will be the Grand Prix champion. Brazil or the USA. No technical timeouts, but we will change ends when the first team gets to eight points. Both coaches have all their substitutions and also two timeouts plus two challenges should they need them. And with the way this match has gone, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Natalia to serve. So it's an error from Hill, a nervy hit from her cross court, which gives Brazil the opening point. Nice dig from Leia. Oh, good dig from Larson. Well, Hill still struggling through four. Banwell keeps it in play. Larson hoiks it high. That's a good touch in the block, though. This time Hill surely, yes, puts it down. Well, that will do her confidence the world of good. It was a nervy start, but she had no block with that final swing and gets it down. Murphy. That's off the block, is it? Yes, according to the referee. Hill not able to uh, fool the ref. So it's Danny Lins now with the serve. Well, Thais are in. Just shows how far away I am. Great swing from Fagere. Taser once again. Well, Fabiana's movement meant that as she played that, she was still moving. And she got a touch on it, but then couldn't play it again because the momentum took her away from the ball. She wanted to play it, didn't she? Hill with the serve. She's sure she'd quite happily take an ace serve off the top of the net. And she did in the last set. It's not to be. Nice angle from Fabiana. Akimadoo needs to make a block as soon as you'll make a good touch to try and stop that middle attack if she can. That would then give Danny Lynn something to think about. Robinson comes in for Hill to pass and defend. Sheila with the serve, waiting for Brazil. Oh, clever. Somehow stays in play. Did Fagere catch the net? Doesn't matter. The ball is out. Larson with uh, a really nice play. Looked like she was going to go for the overpass. Saw the block has made the set instead. And it's an error from Brazil, which hands the USA the ball. Akin Radawo with the serve. A let off for Grimaras' team. Brilliant from Larson. I'm not sure Adams could have hit that ball any harder. And somehow Alea kept it off the floor. But when it came back over, Larson was ready and waiting to go block out through four. Glass with the serve. Oh. 
Natalia twisting Robinson away from being able that ball back into court. With some height, doesn't she, Natalia? Forcing that one off the block. Rachel Adams gets the point. Robinson comes off now. Hill comes back into the front row. Larson goes back to serve. This is the USA's tallest front row. Murphy, Hill and Adams looking to try and stop. Natalia and Thaisa. They get a good touch on Natalia. Hill's played that and the net at the same time. That was a shame. Is the USA's grasp of this title beginning to slip? Danny Lins with the serve for Brazil. They lead by two. Now they lead by three. That's a huge block. Sheila directing it into Thaisa, who directs it down. We have the end change because Brazil have got to eight points first. Well, it's not over yet. It is still all to play for. It's only three points, and if it was a race to 25, it would be insignificant. But as it's only the 15, it's slightly more worrying for Karch Kirai and his team, and he's called a timeout. to call and be available and they are expecting on the read they need to be covering what's going on and the ball likely to be hit back towards five let's see how this pans out Danny Lins with the serve oh it's a really good serve Larson normally so reliable with Banwa lets that one go lack of communication maybe between the two passes Lins gets the touch ace, Brazil now 9-5 up. And Murphy's put down, brilliant block from Natalia. This is a huge lead and a real worry for the USA. Coach Kirali calls timeout again. It's a great attitude, isn't it, from Karch Kirai. This is what they've been building for. This is what they're here for, to test themselves against a really good team in a meaningful match. Well, this is a pretty meaningful match. Adams with the ball. Sheila gets block out. An instant side out for Brazil. Murphy still travelling laterally. Natalia. Bang 
Cunningworth covering the tip deep. Lins makes a dig off Hill. And Sheila gets the block out. Brazil are edging closer to victory. Somehow it went through the arms of Hill. She got her chin up, which brought her arms back. She wasn't strong enough to put the ball down. Oh, magnificent hang time from Akin Radewo. That and her go-go gadget arms putting the ball down. Murphy now with the serve. USA need a runner points here, don't they? Big time. They've got a chance to get one back. And the chance has gone. Akin Radewo has cut across the ball and put a side spin on it. That's taken it over the beyond the line. Taser. Still a chance for the USA. Hill now with the serve. Fabiana puts the ball down, it's now match point for Brazil. Sheila goes back to serve. Oh, she doesn't want to finish it off. Two gifts from the serving line for Brazil. And now it's back to the wall. As far as USA are concerned, double substitution, one last throw of the dice for the US. Lowe comes into the front row, Lloyd goes into the back row. Adams, Larson, Lowe, can they stop Brazil from putting the ball down? Great dig from Akin Radewo. Free ball back for Brazil. Linz goes middle and down it goes and Fabiana has won it for Brazil. Brazil take gold here in Thailand. And they have done it by three sets to two. Magnificent match. As it seesawed one way and then the other. But in the deciding set it was Brazil who did the business. They wrestled the crown away from the U.